on the Pioneer Vision Weekly Report for football with defensive line coach Darren Edwards right now. And, uh, Darren, I know it's been a, a frustrating goal of it because you very easily could be three and one. You know, there's been – it's just been a, a couple plays here or there, uh, especially in the fourth quarter. CCSU gets the better of you this past week. But, again, some positive things, I think, to take away from it. Uh, but it's at the time of the year. There are, is it kind of that gut check time where it's not about the moral victories but about actually going out there and producing this Saturday against – Bryant. Yeah, and every week we talk to the guys about playing hard, you know, focusing on doing their job and just, you know, trying to get things done. Don't worry about wins and losses so much. Just play hard. The wins will come once we uh, do everything we're supposed to do. You're hoping to generate a little more pressure on their quarterback and uh, what kind of things are you working on this week to do so? Definitely. Uh, we would love to get more pressure. You know, obviously we anticipate getting more pressure. We, we didn't pressure as much uh, the last couple of weeks. We didn't think that was best for us in the game plan. But, uh, you know, we want to continue to do that and, and get pressure on the quarterback in the future. On the positive note, Jeff Keffer comes back into the mix this past week against CCSU. And what does he bring to the mix? And what could we expect differently from you guys with him now back in his second full week against Bryant this week? Well, I don't think he's going to be much things different, but he's a bigger strong kid and we like to get him in the mix so we can stop you know to run a little bit more Bryant likes to run the ball run it up the gut at us so you know he gives us a, a little things extra yeah, Bryant has the second best rush in the uh, NEC they're at 197 yards a game so what do you have to do to uh, to to block up the middle you talk about them running it up the gut what kind of things uh, do you have to do to slow them down as uh, like you said they like to run the ball yeah we just want to be tough up the middle and be sound and you know, we're not going to do anything crazy just uh continue to do what you know what we what we plan to do and, and tell tell the guys to keep working hard. All right, thanks a lot, Darren. All right, thank you. With defensive lineman Justin Embler and Andrew Costantino and uh Justin, let me go to you first. Uh I, I know again like I talked with coach, you guys have shown some signs of toughness and been in just about every game. But again at the end it seems that uh you know things kind of go the wrong way. How do you try to build off of that and uh, as I say kind of gut check time here this week against Bryant about halfway through the season. Yeah, uh, you know, we, we come in every Sunday after after each game and, you know, we watch the film and we look on how we can get better. And then after that, it's basically move on to the next week. You know, we're uh, each week, you know, we take the loss for what it was and then we move, uh, we move on to the next week and, you know, we just – we look forward to just getting back out on the field and competing again because right now we know we have we have a good team. It's just that we come up a little bit short for each game. So, you know, we just got to just keep keep plugging away, and uh, eventually we'll, we'll pull one out. Funny word there, plugging away. Plugging holes is kind of the going to be the theme, I think, on Saturday. They're a team that likes to run the ball and shoot it up the middle. How do you plug those holes and try to stop their run? Well, just by uh, every week, we work on, basically work on double teams every week, and that's kind of my main thing is uh, taking on two guys at one time and trying to make a play here and there when I can. So as long as we keep uh, persevering on that and keep trying to work on those things that we need to do, I think we'll be all right. All right, Justin, I want to talk. You were a preseason All-NEC pick, and what was that like when you found that out, and how's that kind of been, if anything, a, a motivation for you this year? In your junior season, um, you know, I was uh, I was pretty excited when I found out. Um, you know, I found out uh, in the summer, and um, you know, it it's always good to have uh, something like that happen because you know you need to you need to rise to the expectations. So I've been uh, you know I've been working really hard, and uh, but all that was was an individual thing. And right now, I'm not really worrying about it because it's all about the team right now. So um, any individual accolades after the season is great, but for right now, it's all about the team. Interesting because I want to ask you about some individual stats. 12 tackles and a sack this year, and those are great individual stats. And I, I know that as a defensive unit, football players are always about the team and always about the defensive unit, but it has to feel pretty good when you get that sack and those 12 tackles and you at least do your job individually as part of the greater whole. Yeah, right. I mean, you know, it's, it's always nice to make a few plays here and there, but uh, like you said, it's for the team really. You know, I play nose, and basically my job is to take up two guys and – Basically, that's it. Take up two guys and do every, do everything I can here and there. If I can make a sack, that's great. If I can make some tackles, that's great too. But like what Justin said, it's about the team. All right, I'll ask you both finally. Uh, here this week, uh, we're filming this on Wednesday, Saturday, the game. Uh, are you sensing the kind of sense of urgency that I'm sure coaches would like to see in practice? Yeah, yeah. We need to uh, definitely be hustling a little bit more, working a lot harder because, like Justin said, we've been coming up a little bit short, so – it's that extra push that's really going to get us over the top for a win. 
All right, how's the quest going for you this week in practice? Uh, it's going pretty well. You know, me and uh, Andrew here, Andrew, we were both flying around today. And uh, you just got to – you got to pick up the tempo each practice, but when the next day comes around, you have to raise the bar as well. So you're ready for Saturday to compete at the highest level for every play. All right, great job, guys, on the interview. Best of luck again on Saturday. Thank you.